All right, so if you want to get 3D acceleration working again on Jedi Knight, if you're having problems like you turn on 3D acceleration and you just get black screen or you get weird textures like white textures, this is one way you can fix it. So what we're gonna do is I have, I have a freshly installed GOG copy of Jedi Knight. This also works on the Steam edition of Jedi Knight. It also works on Mysteries of the Sith. It's the same way, same process. So what we do is we can go, first we're gonna go to, open up our web browser, and we're gonna go to this link to get the DG Voodoo 2. And I'll put all the links to the URL down in the description. So we go here, and one of the things is we don't want the newest version. The newest version won't work right. So we need to actually go down here and get an old version. We need to get this version right here. DG Voodoo version 2.54. So this is the one we want. So we go ahead and just click on this, download it, I'll download to a zip, and we want to go ahead and open this up now. The files we want here we want this DG Voodoo CPL.exe. Go ahead and just drag this into here. And now we want to go to MS and we want all three of these. Just drag them into here and exit this. And now we can launch our Jedi Knight. And there we go, we have 3D acceleration in Jedi Knight. So that's all you have to do to get 3D acceleration working with Jedi Knight. That's all you have to do to get rid of that black screen problem. Well, the, the like, mouse, the mouse controls are inverted, man. Oh, oh the, yeah, that is the vein. Yeah.